So this one's quite a cool one and it's called Does the Flowery Life Pattern Represent the Fabric of Reality? And uh, like there's obviously been a lot of talk about the Flowery Life Pattern since uh, the Joe Rogan episode episode and uh, it's something I think humanity's because it's like I think it's like the oldest pattern or design in humanity uh, and it's obviously people's tried to like people's tried to like decode it or, or whatever Ken through it like this the the millenniums basically Ken for thousands of years but nobody's really I think came up with a a clear answer. There's all different really good theories and uh, this is my theory. I don't know if it's any good or not but we'll, we'll see what everybody thinks but like for me see like if you were like like they talk about life being a simulation and stuff so like they're, they're you've got like that this like this we all live in a simulation and things like that but uh, like so it's like it could be like digital or created kind of thing and for me when I think of that like have you ever seen like when you design things on a computer and it's got like what I've got in the thumbnail the picture so it's like it's not got the same pattern but it's basically got like uh, so it's like it'd be like square like a cube kind of pattern over like if you were designing like a like a computer game or something and you've just got like the humanoid body and it's just like blank but it's got like a crisscross pattern over it and that's like the the fabric of that reality that's the how they design the computer game with that basis through that and that's what i'm i'm thinking with that the flowery life pattern that that could represent like basically everything again like like it could represent our like reality kind of thing so it could be like basically that's the the pattern, like, well, it is, that's what they call it, the, the flowery life, the pattern of life. So that's what that literally could be. It could be covering everything, like, everything. Me, the planet, that could be, like, the, the, the fabric of creation. And we're all, like, when the light hits it, it creates us, it creates the mountains, it creates the law it creates like the lot the, the rocks and creates like reality basically so it's like uh because it is like even that there's that thing it's really complicated and i don't know like when i watched joe rogan and terence uh, talk about it it kind of blew my mind quite a lot because I, I was like i don't really understand what they're talking about half the time or what terence was talking about then when Eric Weinstein came on and, and was talking to him as well, I like couldn't really follow it. But this is this is just my theory. Uh, I think it's just as good as anybody else's, to be honest. So it would be the fabric of reality, and they talk about it's like so that pattern is like a shadow of what is really like a, it's like a, a different dimension, I suppose you would say. So when the light hits that dimension, it creates that pattern. And what I'm saying is, when the light hits that pattern, it could create us, it could create our reality. So that's what I'm saying. It's like the fabric of reality, the fabric of life. And if you believe we live in a simulation, and that's how it's all created, like a computer game, then that could be the like the design code, basically, the, the fabric of it that creates the world and like the universe and our reality. So again, it's, it's really quite difficult to explain. Obviously you can tell I'm struggling a wee bit with it. I'm not like a physicist or clued up with all this kind of stuff. But for me, I thought about it a lot and I thought that's quite a, it's quite a cool theory. And it, it kind of ties in with a lot of other theories. So for me, it's definitely plausible at the very least and I wonder if anybody's looked into it before if anybody's seen anything about it or is it just me that's came up with this randomly 
I'd need to kind of had a wee look about, I couldn't really see anything about it. You see things that maybe could be what they're talking about, but it's no, this, it's no exactly what I'm saying. But like for me, the thumbnail that I've made basically sums it right up. It basically, again, it shows you like the, the fabric, the creation, and the kind of, the, the, the like, the, the reality that's been created for us. Like this, this uh, dimension, basically, this the third dimension is our reality. So that is the fabric of the third dimension, and it's a shadow of the fourth dimension, I suppose. Yeah, or I could just be talking complete nonsense. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's uh, it could be that. Like again, everybody thinks I'm a bit mad in that, eh? So maybe I'm just crazy, but. To me, it's, it's really cool to talk about and discuss, and I wonder if, uh, if yous, any of yous or that come across those videos ever thought about it or looked into it. Uh, I'd be really interested to know what you think about this one, so let me know in the comments, because for me, I think there could be really something to it. It's like the like uh, Metatron's Cube and all that as well. Like, I've made a video about that, check that out. But for, that, for me, these, these type of things especially, really kind of captivate me and really interest me so I'd be interested to, to hear what, what you all think about it but that's that for this one anyway so I'll catch you later